myself Supratam Mukherjee and today I will discuss a problem on non-profit seeking concern. All the students who are viewing my channel are requested to see the different chapters which are there in the playlist section. Let me explain the structure of the subscription account in this slide. So on the debit side you will have the two balance BD. What does it represent? It represents the opening balance of outstanding receivable as on last date of the previous year will appear in the asset side of the opening balance sheet. This is the outstanding subscription in the last year as on the last date of the previous year. And on the credit side you will have buy balance BD. It means the advance that you have received in the last year for the current year. So this is the opening balance of advance received as on the last date of the previous year will appear in the liability side of the opening balance sheet. Now this figure will appear in the opening balance sheet and it will be on the liability side. On the debit side you have the two income and expenditure account means this is the subscription income of the current year and by bank account means the amount of subscription received in the current year including advance of next year and outstanding of previous year. Then on the debit side there, will, there may be a balancing figure. So this, what does this represent on the debit side? The closing balance of advance received as on the last date of the current year will appear in the liability side of the closing balance sheet. And on the credit side you have it may you may have a balance CD what does this meaning what is the meaning of this figure the closing balance of outstanding receivable as on last date of the current year will appear in the asset side of the closing balance sheet I request the student to have a look on this on the structure of the subscription account this is the income account you will have the same structure of any income account so I request the student to have a look and to try to understand what are the different balances that will appear uh, that will exist in a, a income account and subscription account is an example of such account. Now the next account the structure that I will discuss is a general expense. Now in this expense account on the debit side if it is there is a balance means two balance BD. So this is the advance paid in the last year for the current year and this balance will appear on the asset side of the opening balance sheet. And if there is a balance on the credit side that buy balance BD means outstanding amount as on last date of the previous year will appear in the liability side of the opening balance sheet. Then on debit side you will have to bank account means expense account debit to bank. This is the amount that has been paid during the year. It includes the outstanding for the last year as well as advance of the next year. So whatever amount has been paid on this account will be appearing on the debit side of this expense account. Now this is a general expense account. It can be a rent account, it can be interest account, it can be a traveling expense account, whatever may be. The structure will remain the same. And whatever balance uh, will be there so um, expense is a nominal account that account that balance has to be transferred to income and expenditure account so by income and expenditure account means this is the expense of the current year this is the amount of expense of the current year and on the if there is a balance uh, closing balance on the debit side so two balance CD so this means the outstanding amount as on last date of the year will appear in the liability side of the closing balance sheet and if there is a balance on the credit side that is buy balance CD means the advance paid in the current year for the next year and this will appear this figure this balance will appear on the asset side of the closing balance sheet. I request all the students to go through this two ledger properly, have a look on it, try to understand and try to understand the meaning of each balances that will appear in these two ledgers. The receipts and payments account of a club for the year ended 31st December 2010 
showed a debit entry of rupees 10000 for subscriptions from the information available it is found that subscriptions outstanding on 31st december 2009 was rupees 2000 subscription outstanding on 31st december 2010 was rupees 4000 subscription received in advance as on 31st december 2009 was rupees 3000 subscription received in advance as on 31st december 2010 was rupees 2000 calculate the income from subscription for the year ending 31st december 2010 the receipt and payment account of a club for the year ended 31st december 2010 so the debit entry of 10000 this means you have received cash for subscription on 31st 12 2010 for rupees by bank for rupees 10000 then from the information available it is found that subscription outstanding on 31st 12 09 was rupees 2000 so this 31st 12 09 means this is 1st january 2010 so you have a outstanding as on 1st january 2010 to balance bd of rupees 2000 subscription outstanding at the end of the year so as subscription outstanding on 31st 12 2010 by balance cd this is 4000 and subscription received in advance last year you have received on 31st 12 09 it means 1st january 2010 so by balance bd this is rupees 3000 and advance receipt for next year is rupees to balance cd advance receipt for next year is a liability so this is 2000 uh, so the income ex- income of uh, in that that will be transferred to income expenditure account the subscription which is due for the current year this is the balancing figure so to income expenditure account balancing figure and this will be 13000 from the following in particulars prepare a statement showing subscription received in 2010-11 as per receipts and payment account subscription income for 2010-11 as per income and expenditure account rupees 82000 advance subscription received in 2019 rupees 4000 subscription outstanding at the end of 2010-11 including rupees 1000 for 2019 is rupees 9500 advance subscription received for 2011-12 2000 subscription return off during 2010-11 rupees 500 subscriptions receivable on 14-2010 rupees 5000 subscription collected 2010-11 by the secretary but not deposited rupees 1000 subscription income for 2010-11 as per income expenditure account is given at rupees 82000 so 31st 3 2011 to income expenditure account this will be 82000 then next is advance subscription received in 2019 so last year uh, you have received an advance by balance bd this is 4000 third item is subscription outstanding at the end of 2010-11 so 31st March 2011 by balance CD. This is 9,500. So this includes rupees 1,000 for the last year also. Advance subscription received for 2011-12. That is for next year you have received an advance. So to balance CD this is 2,000. Then subscription return off during 2010-11. So by income expenditure, this is the amount which is written off. And subscription receivable on 1-4-2010. So to balance BD, this is given as 
rupees five thousand, and subscription collected uh, by the secretary but not deposited is rupees one thousand. So this is the amount which is receivable from the cashier or by secretary. Rather, he he is the secretary. So I am writing here as secretary. So by secretary account so this is the amount which is receivable from the secretary and the balancing figure represents the amount collected as subscription and this amount is 74000 okay hope all of you have understood the problems that i have discussed and all the students are requested to see the playlist section where I have given all the chapters in uh, accounts and costing and I will also regularly updating those chapters and uh, the students are requested to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. Thank you.